Stanford University. Almost a billion people, one in every eight, lives in an urban slum. And for many, finding a source of clean water is an impossible task. Low-income households rarely have their own water connections. Instead, they collect water from shared taps or hand pumps and store it in containers. There are an estimated over one million child deaths every year from waterborne diseases. The most traditional approaches to cleaning water is either to try to fix municipal delivery, which is really expensive or di and difficult, or to ask households to treat the water by themselves. For a couple of decades, there's been this, this paradigm of, of point-of-use household treatment, and we've had all these studies that have shown that the uptake is really low, that people aren't using these technologies. And so this project started as a response to that, to come up with a technology that removes the requirement of behavior change. Our team works with a technology that automatically provides a disinfecting dose of chlorine during the water collection process. This helps keep the water safe until a household's ready to use it. The device is low cost, requires no electricity, and has no moving parts. The project really has three components right now. Our ongoing field testing and technology development, developing a business model to ensure financial sustainability, and to rigorously evaluate the health impacts of access to chlorinated water in DACA slums. One thing that I think really sets the project apart and this team apart is how quickly we're able to test something in the field and then take that evidence and make changes or pull in you know, some other people or other ideas based on the real results we're seeing from the field. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.